He allowed the Spaniards to reach the outskirts of the Aztec capital in November of 1519. Before long, Montezuma realized his mistake and sent gifts to appease the Spaniards. He sent envoys bearing gold, hoping the strangers would take the gifts and leave. All Montezuma's gifts did, however, was prove to Cortez that the Aztecs were rich with gold. Cortez was now more determined than ever to reach Tenochtitlan. When he finally got there, Cortez was not disappointed. With a population of 250,000, Tenochtitlan surpassed even the largest cities in Europe. Montezuma was equally impressive. For his meeting with Cortez, he dressed the part of the New World's most powerful man. As the two sides approached each other, the air grew thick with excitement. Cortez explained he'd come in peace, the ambassador of a great emperor from far across the sea. Montezuma welcomed him as a most honored guest and invited him to stay in one of his palaces. Friendliness, though, soon gave way to fear. News arrived that the Aztecs had attacked Veracruz, the colony Cortez had established along the coast 200 miles away. Montezuma denied responsibility. But Cortez did the unthinkable. He placed Montezuma under arrest in his own palace. Amazingly, the emperor submitted without a struggle. To this day, no one knows why. Montezuma's authority gradually weakened. The Aztecs did stage an uprising against the Spanish invaders, but not led by Montezuma. The Spaniards claimed Montezuma was stoned by his own people. The Aztecs insisted he was murdered by the Spanish. Whatever the case, by the summer of 1520, the situation in Tenochtitlan had reached total chaos. Cortez and his men decided to grab as much gold as possible and make a run for it. With the Spaniards retreating, the Aztecs might have recovered, but the conquistadors had brought with them something much more deadly than rifles and cannons, disease. The Aztecs were devastated by what they called the Great Rash, smallpox. This highly infectious and fatal virus left them stricken with high fever, aches, and blisters all over their bodies. More than half the population would die of the germ. Cortez and his army returned and laid waste to Tenochtitlan. The Aztec temples were burned. In three months, the mighty capital was reduced to ashes. Cortez would go on to build a new colony on top of Tenochtitlan. Thousands of Spaniards would flock to Mexico City, the capital of Spain's new empire in the Americas. <laughs>